So as many of you guys know, I started off this channel by doing Call of Duty commentaries. And honestly, I stopped doing them because it's really hard to get noticed nowadays off of doing commentaries. Like, your chance of becoming a Call of Duty commentator, any type of commentator, is like half of a half a percent. There's still a small chance, but it's very rare. But occasionally, people still ask me, Beast, can you please do Call of Duty commentaries again? And why someone would want to stare at Call of Duty gameplay while listening to some idiot spread his pointless opinion is beyond me. But nonetheless, I wanted to make a video talking about commentaries and my thoughts on YouTube since I switched from, you know, video games to IRL, and I thought what better way to do it than in a commentary. Now before I go too far, I have to say, you know, I'm a strong advocate of post what you want to do, do what you want to do on YouTube, because if you enjoy doing it, it won't be that hard for you to be motivated and you'll stick to it, you won't quit. Having said that, I feel like most people do commentaries because they're easy or they're afraid to show their face. For real, this video is going to take me under an hour to make, like back during the summer I was up uploading two commentaries every single day, seven days a week. They're not hard to do. You literally just talk into your mic for about 20 minutes, you know, cut out the part you stuttered, and then you put it over some gameplay and you upload it. Let's be real, lots of people do commentaries purely because they're easy to do. Now the other reason, which I think is honestly the bigger reason for a lot of people, is they're afraid to show their face, uh, especially people who grow their following, you know, grow a tiny following through commentaries, and then they realize, you know, there's no way I can ever get a million subscribers or 100,000 subscribers in 2015 doing this but they don't want to switch to IRL because you know they make excuses like they don't have a good enough camera they, but in reality they're just they don't want to show their face and to be honest guys you really shouldn't worry about that like people aren't going to judge you unless you act like you care like if you have a zit and at the beginning of the video you're like oh please excuse my zit then people are going to know you're thinking about it and they're going to comment it or just like even when people comment mean things just you know don't reply to it don't let it get to you because if, if you don't respond to hate then people aren't going to continue hating they're going to be like oh he doesn't care and they're just going to stop that's the biggest thing and honestly most people don't really like most people won't make fun of the way you look like I don't see why people People are so afraid to show their face. I have multiple friends that do commentaries and they're just never going to get anywhere. And I want them to do IRL videos so bad, but uh, I don't know why. And I just assume it's just because they don't want to show their face, which I don't know why you wouldn't. I mean, it's you. Just be accepting of yourself, you know? Now, obviously, like I said, there are... Now, obviously, like I said, there's exceptions like Ziovo. He got 100,000 subscribers recently, and most of his videos are commentaries. Um, you know, he has really good tutorials. He's an exception because he posts really, really high quality uh, tutorials, even though they're not really commentaries. I don't know why I'm including him. But another one is Luna, Red Luna, Phase Luna. I don't know which one he's in. He does really good commentaries, and he's exploding on YouTube right now off of only commentaries. There are a few exceptions, but uh, as for Call of Duty commentaries, I don't think you're going to make it going into 2016 if you start up a Call of Duty channel and do just commentaries. I don't think you're going to make it. I think it's a waste of your time. That is my opinion. I'd love to hear yours. That's the end of the video. Let me know what you think and let me know if you'd like to hear me do more commentaries, maybe. I don't know. That's kind of hypocritical, saying commentaries suck and then doing one, asking if I should do more. I am a huge hypocrite. Giveaway at the end of the video. What? I don't know. Bye.